The first thing you want to start with is her head. So I'm just going to draw a circle. Okay, so once you have drawn the circle and the lines going across, we can now focus on her eyes. So we're just going to start on this side and we're just going to do a half circle. Once you've done that, we can do her pupil and her pupil is right at the top of her eye because she's looking up. Okay, so now we can do the other eye. Okay, so now that we have done the eyes, we can focus on the eyebrows. And the eyebrows, you want to do them kind of low because she's frowning. Okay, so now that you have done that and you are happy with the eyes as well, then you can just move on to doing the nose. So the nose we're going to put around here. And it's just going to go around and on the side. Once you have done the nose, we can now do the mouth. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're just going to go and make her lips go into two points. And then afterwards, it's just going to go off to the side. And now we can just do her chin. And we're going to put it right here. Okay, so now we've done that, we can just fix her face again because right now it's a little bit too big. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're just going to add some brown marks right here. Just a little bit um, because she's concentrating a lot. And now we're going to do her hair. So she has a parting right here. So we just want to draw that. And then it goes off to the side. And then for the top of her, her hair, you want it to just go up a little bit and then back down. Okay, so the next thing we're going to focus on is her outfit. So what you want to do first is her neck, which is right here. Once you have done her neck, we can now do her shirt. So her shirt comes from the back of her neck, right here. And then it goes forward. <clears throat> and then back up. And then it meets into the middle. Okay, so what I did right here is I just rubbed off anything that got in the way. And then I did this side slightly bigger than this side because when you got a shirt on, it's not exactly the same on both sides. And then I also just added a line here and here so it looks a bit more 3D. And then afterwards, I'm just going to draw a line going down like this. And you don't want to make the line really straight, you kind of want to make it a bit squiggly. And then you can just add a couple of buttons. One here and then one here. Once you've done that, we can draw her shoulders, which are right here. And then once you've done that, we can just go and draw her arm. Her arm doesn't go all the way down, it goes kind of to the side. And the same on this side. Once we've done that, we can now draw these, this overall she's got on. So it goes over her shoulder and then it's just a line going down. But you want it to go diagonally. Then what you want to do is you just want to draw a line across. Okay, so now you've done that, we can just draw the pocket and the buttons. 
so one of the buttons you want it to be right here and then the other one you want it to be on the other side and then you just want to draw the pocket which is just a square you want the square to kind of be rounded when you put it on her and the ovals you kind of want to make them a bit slanted because she's moving a lot so they're not exactly straight on her they're a bit they move a lot okay so all that's left to draw now is her demon and it's usually right here on her shoulder so i'm just going to draw it there <laughs> Okay, so what you want to do is draw two lines like I have right here and then you just want to draw a circle and that is going to be the head of the ferret. And then you can just draw his ears and then on this side you can't see the whole of the ear so you just want to be careful and just make it dent right there. Now we can just draw the eyes. And then you want to draw its nose. You want to draw it at the top of his of its head near his eyes because then it will look like it's higher up. And all it's left to do is its mouth. Okay, so what I did to finish off the character is I just drew a bunch of little hairs on it to make it look more like an animal. And then um, for the ears I just doubled it up right here. Okay, so now we have completely finished the drawing. If you want to know where to put the colours and things like that, then just check back in part two. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to my channel. And if you want me to draw any more characters from His Darkest Materials, then just put them in the comment section and I'll try and draw them for you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!